This genius student has refined a 100-year-old mathematical problem that was once considered an unsolved mystery. Her solution has the potential to revolutionize wind energy applications worldwide, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Imagine a student, just in her 20s, sitting in a quiet library, scribbling equations that haven't been touched in over a century. Now imagine that same student refining a mathematical formula so old that most professors had either accepted it as gospel or shelved it as unchangeable. But this team didn't just challenge that equation. She improved it, breathing new life into a formula that directly impacts the way we harness wind energy. And the results? Absolutely game-changing. Her revision has the potential to make wind turbines vastly more efficient, unlocking wind farm designs and layouts previously thought impossible. Curious how a student cracked a 100-year-old puzzle? Want to know how it affects everything from your small wind turbine to entire national grids? Then stay with me until the end of this video, because what you're about to learn may completely change the way you think about renewable energy. And hey, Let's encourage a such smart student by smashing that like button. Let's rewind a bit. Over 100 years ago, a British aerodynamicist named Herman Glaurut developed a formula that would define wind energy capture for generations. Known as the optimum rotor disk solution, it basically stated the theoretical limits of how efficiently a wind turbine could convert wind energy into electricity. For decades, this was the ceiling, the theoretical limit that engineers around the world worked within. It shaped how turbines were designed, spaced, and scaled. Wind energy development grew, but always with that mathematical ceiling in mind. The problem? That equation was based on perfect theoretical conditions, continuous airflow, the flow and turbine are symmetric around the rotor axis turbines isolated from one another and ideal wind speeds. In the real world, none of those conditions actually exist. Still, no one dared to challenge Glauert until now. Enter Divya T. Yagi, a bright and curious student from Pennsylvania State University who, during her undergraduate studies, started asking questions that stumped even her mentors. She wondered, what if we stop relying on approximate or numerical methods and derive the optimal circulation distribution analytically by framing the problem as a variational optimization. She hoped to obtain exact integral expressions for thrust and bending moment coefficients, offering a more rigorous and precise approach to rotor design. Through relentless research and hours of simulation, Divya found a way to refine Glauert's formula by incorporating real-world variables like the total force acting on the rotor, the spinning unit with attached blades, and turbine blades bending under wind pressure. Her revised formula, coined the Tiagi adjustment, shows that under certain configurations, turbines can achieve higher efficiency than previously thought, potentially revolutionizing wind energy production. So what does this mean for the future of wind energy? Divya's refinement has the potential to increase the efficiency of wind turbines, allowing them to generate more electricity from the same amount of wind. This could lead to smaller, more cost-effective turbines that are easier to install and maintain. Additionally, her work opens the door to new turbine designs that were previously considered impractical. By challenging a century-old assumption, Divya has paved the way for innovations in wind farm layouts potentially leading to more sustainable and efficient energy production worldwide. Divya Tiagi's research, recently published in Wind Energy Science Journal, presents a novel approach to a century-old aerodynamic challenge. Tiagi said, I developed an addendum to Glauert's problem that identifies the optimal aerodynamic conditions for a wind turbine to achieve maximum power output. She earned her bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. Her faculty advisor, Sven Schmitz, the Boeing AD Welliver professor in the Department of Aerospace Engineering and a co-author of the study, explained that while Glauert's original work 
focused on maximizing the power coefficient, a measure of how effectively a turbine converts wind into electricity, it didn't account for the full aerodynamic loading on the rotor. Specifically, it neglected the total force and moment coefficients and the structural bending experienced by turbine blades under wind pressure. To visualize it, Schmidt said, imagine holding your arms outstretched and someone pushing on your palms. You'd have to resist that force. Wind turbines experience similar stresses, known as downwind thrust force and root bending moment, and these loads are critical to understand. Glauert's formulation didn't include them. Tiagi's contribution uses the calculus of variations, a powerful method for solving constrained optimization problems, to provide a more complete and elegant solution. Schmitz emphasized the accessibility and impact of her work. He said Divya's approach offers a level of clarity that will enable further innovation in wind turbine design. I believe her solution will become part of engineering curricula, both in the U.S. and internationally. Its true value lies in how it will shape the next generation of wind turbines. Tayagi views her work as a contribution toward enhancing wind energy efficiency and reducing operational costs. A 1% improvement in the power coefficient of a large turbine can lead to a significant increase in energy output, enough to power an entire neighborhood, she noted. And the relationships we developed also apply to the other aerodynamic coefficients. Her groundbreaking thesis earned her the Anthony E. Wolk Award, which honors the best undergraduate thesis in aerospace engineering. Now pursuing a master's degree, Tiagi is focusing on computational fluid dynamics, specifically studying airflow around helicopter rotors. The aim is to integrate this analysis with the complex airwake around a ship to better understand how it affects helicopter landings on decks, she said. Supported by the U.S. Navy, this research is geared toward improving flight simulation accuracy and enhancing pilot safety. Reflecting on her undergraduate work, Tiagi acknowledged the challenge of deriving the solution. She said, it was very math intensive. I spent 10 to 15 hours a week working through the problem, writing the thesis, and conducting research. It took time, but looking back, I'm incredibly proud. Schmitz, who has studied Glauert's problem for decades, praised Tiagi's determination. I always felt the original formulation was missing key steps. It seemed overly complex. Divya was the fourth student I asked to tackle it, and she was the only one who accepted the challenge. Her solution is remarkable. Beyond the technical advancements, Divya's achievement serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of questioning established norms. Her work exemplifies how fresh perspectives and persistent inquiry can lead to breakthroughs that benefit society as a whole. As we face the pressing challenges of climate change and the need for renewable energy sources, innovations like Divya's are crucial. They not only advance technology, but also inspire others to think critically and creatively, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Divya Tiagi's story is a testament to the power of curiosity, determination, and the willingness to challenge the status quo. Her refinement of a 100-year-old math problem has the potential to transform the wind energy industry, making renewable energy more efficient and accessible. If you're inspired by stories of innovation and the pursuit of knowledge, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content on groundbreaking advancements in science and technology. And hey, let's encourage a such smart student by smashing that like button and share this video with early students as a good role model. Let's celebrate and support the thinkers and doers who are shaping a better future for all of us.